Abner uh, Maris is ready to go down against Miguel Flores. And Abner Maris is riding on a wonderful, wonderful score. This 5 foot 4.566 inches Mexican fighter is having 31 wins, 15 by the way of a KO, 3 losses, 1 draw, and uh, he is pretty much 36 years old, but he scored some high level achievements in his uh, prior career. Recently lost to Santa Cruz WBA featherweight title, but he defeated Jesus Cuidar, Andres Gutierrez, Arturo Santos Reyes, Jonathan Akendo, Daniel Pons de Leon. Won so many titles, and now it's his time to shine. Gonna meet Miguel Flores. Miguel Flores, five foot eight, sixty-nine inches of reach, twenty-nine wins, twenty-five by the twenty-five wins, twelve by the way of a KO. Four losses. This guy also lost to Leo Santa Cruz and Eduardo Ramirez, and then bounced back with a victory over Diuhi Ogin. He doesn't have uh, championship achievements under his belt, but also lost to that Nayan, that Nayan who is now a bare knuckle champ. So, I've got to say that Miguel Flores might actually give Abner Maris a hard time. To me, this is a suicide for betting. I, I don't know, this really is a 50-50 fight to me. I was analyzing this fight for a long period of time, and I simply can't pick a side. It's too hard for me to pick a side. Both of these guys... We're fighting similarly against Leo Santa Cruz, and I'm gonna say if it goes the distance, that's going to be my pick. If I must pick a side, this is lucky guess going with Flores, but uh, if it goes the distance.